children when they are learning arithmetic, adding 3 plus 3, how much? Bataunga, bataunga. 3, 3, 3. 4, 5, 6. 6! Eh, God knows. 5 plus 5. He's not very sure. Ten. Ten? Yes, beta. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> now it is all with the fingers. In the beginning. But supposing that child grows up to become an auditor <laughs> with a pencil. He had say, better than a adding machine. Huh. Yeah, adding machine, you let him push it, isn't it? It's not a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> he has got a maha mantra. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> now, why, what has happened? That is in the beginning stages I started like that. Now I know it. That help is not necessary. <laughs> when you are learning driving, the man advises you, look straight. <laughs> you need not turn your body also. It's not necessary. You turn the... Uh, change the gear, change the gear, the clutch, the clutch, press the clutch, take it. Okay. Uh, all these are in the beginning. Once you have learned the driving, <laughs> <laughs> unless you are a taxi driver, then you are no. It's all one's habit to it. Similarly, in the beginning, to quieten the mind and gather all his attention from outside, Krishna, Rama, Govinda, and Upasana is necessary. It is, cannot be avoided. A temple where they're ringing the bell and things like that, that makes your mind quiet. But once you have learned the art of quietening the mind, it is natural. So that this great reality, which is without modification, without any form, nirvishesham, absolute, vita kuta, how can there be plurality in it? Unconditioned. There's no modification in it. So all that we are seeing now is the plurality which is constantly modifying itself, and they are all finite. But here it is absolute. In that absolute reality, which is all pervading and without form, Vitaka. Where can the Vida be? Differences be. The pluralistic world is only a projection upon the Atman, the self. Vida Kutaha. How can, from where can the Vida, the plurality come? 